Finally, in example 8, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of a quadratic 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 over uh, transcendental e to the 2x plus natural log of x. Okay, so we check the criteria first. Um, if I evaluate this, I am going to get infinity over infinity. And so this is an indeterminate form. We're going to check and see is our function differentiate our functions differentiable over an interval containing infinity. So let's check. This is a quadratic that is everywhere continuous and differentiable over all real numbers. The second one is e to the 2x plus natural log of x, and both e to the x and the natural log of x are everywhere differentiable um, for positive. Uh, numbers. So the domain of this function is going to be uh, limited to 0 to infinity. Um, I can't take the natural log of 0 or a negative number. That needs to be an open interval, 0 to infinity. There we are. So since positive infinity is on this interval, we're good. We can apply L'Hopital's rule. So now let's take the limit as x approaches infinity. 2 times 4 is 8x minus 3 over, and the derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x, plus the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And at this point, let's see what happens. Well, on top, I'm going to have infinity. On the bottom, 1 over infinity goes to 0. That's good, but e to the 2 times infinity, that's going to be an infinity. So let's do it again. Limit as x approaches infinity, and on top the derivative is 8. And on the bottom we have 2 times 2 is 4 e to the 2x plus, uh, this is going to be 1 over x, that's x to the negative 1, so that would be negative 1 over x squared. So we could rewrite this as minus. 1 over x squared. And if I plug in infinity, let's think about what's happening here. I get uh, 4 times e to the 2 times infinity minus 1 over infinity squared. So this is going to go to 0. But uh, this goes to infinity. And so I have 8 over infinity, and that goes to 0.